Hi everyone, the ITM Cup is done and dusted, so it's time to take off my turbos hat and put on the All Black hat, or the Rugby World Cup hat, because there are heaps of opportunities throughout this World Cup. So many games, so many options that we can have a little look at. I'm going to start off with the very first game, New Zealand against Tonga. When we opened betting on this, we said the All Blacks would win by 71 or more. That's the point start, 70 and a half. The punters said no, we think Tonga can stay close, so we'll re-advise that, and uh, it's down to 67 and a half. I still think New Zealand will beat that. So for me, New Zealand by 68 or more, that's a lot, but they will run out onto Eden Park, packed house, and they will be out to make a statement. So look for the All Blacks to absolutely stomp. All Blacks, 68 or more in the first game. Other feature match I wanted to talk about, England against Argentina. Now, England might surprise a few people. They might surprise me because I could get it all wrong in the first game as well. But I think they might do a little bit of a dance on Argentina and surprise a few people with the expansive type play that they are now capable of doing. If they pick their top side, which they should for the first one, I think they could get this by 13 and over. It's about double your money, about $2, $1.95. So I think that's a good way to start off and a good one for your multi bets too. So England, 13 and over in their cup opener against Argentina. And the last one I'll talk about is Wales against South Africa. I've just finished going to their media sessions today. Wales are so focused. They're very fired up for their first game against South Africa and said they are their preferred opponent in their opening match. They know they've got the Pacific Nations to come in Samoa and Fiji, but they are desperate to make a statement on their opener on Sunday in Wellington. I think it'll be close, but the South Africans should just have a little bit too much muscle for them, but I don't think they'll walk away with it. We've seen money on South Africa to win by plenty, but I'm going to go 12 and under South Africa at around about that $2.80 mark. Now that's just three games for the start of the tournament. There are so many, I can't get through them all, but we have options aplenty on all games right through the World Cup. And I'll be back every week to update you on just two or three of the highlights. And also next week, I'll tell you about some of the big bets we had on the first weekend. We'll see you then.